imagine mining Bitcoin with this shit in your in your dorm room? Dude, do you think the college would be like, why was our power so much for this fucking dorm? Right? Like, do you think they would ever notice? What's going on, everybody? My name is Jacob, and welcome to my channel. Hell where we yeah. talk about business, finance, and entrepreneurship. Today, I'll be in his dorm room. I'm going to talk about business, finance, and entrepreneurship. Bitch, are those the classes you signed up for this semester? My channel is actually just going to be me reciting my lecture notes. Time to watch this YouTuber tell me how to mine crypto in my dorm. I'll be showing you guys how I mine cryptocurrency in my college dorm. I'll be going through how I got That's into awesome. it. awesome. How much it costs me, how much I make every month, the pros and cons of mining. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share my thoughts. And if I think right now is a good time to get into it. All I ask is for you guys to like the video and if you find some value to consider subscribing. So for me, this all started about a year ago. I had just finished up. Bro, it is 2022. Why is this video in 360p? My first summer doing sales where I made some good money and I finally had enough to start investing. So I started dabbling a little. No, I invested it in crypto mining. A little bit of everything. I started buying stocks. I started trading options. I uh, started trading Forex and even d dabbled in lots of different cryptocurrencies. Although I look back at it now and realize I wasn't really investing. I was gambling. I had no idea what I was doing and I lost over a thousand dollars thanks to some sketchy option plays and lost money in doing the other things as well. And why am I listening to your advice? Um, to be honest, I'm lucky I didn't lose more than that. <laughs> After that, I kind of took a break for a little bit investing, gambling, but oh. I continued to do some research. Oh. Now, what happens next will change how I invest in crypto forever. So I was on a family vacation in California and I started talking to my brother-in-law about some of his investments. The one that he seemed the most excited about was cryptocurrency mining, specifically mining Ethereum, where you basically buy these high-tech computers and you just run a software on it. This software then uses your computing power to help make transactions. Now, because you help make the transaction, it rewards you by paying you in Ethereum. It's similar to a credit card charging a payment processing fee because they transact shut up i don't care just show me your mining miner is just in my buddy's dorm here Wait. locally that was selling Wait. his rig and i just don't tell me this motherfucker put the mining rig in his buddy's room so that he doesn't get in trouble he put it in his friend's room he's like yo man this thing's kind of loud can i put it in your room <laughs> No. So altogether, I currently have two rigs. One I've been mining for about three and a half months, and the other I've been mining for about two months. So this is my dorm here. I've got my miner there, my bed here, and my desk there. My other miner is just in my buddy's room. It's right there. It's not too big as well. It's just got the three GPUs. And just connects to his monitor right there. So let's jump into the numbers and talk about what everything costs. So all in all, my first rig was $3,200. I bought three graphics cards. One was 900, the other one was 900, and the other one was $1,250. I bought all the other stuff that I needed, like a CPU, a motherboard, and a power supply unit for 200 bucks. What really helped me out is I prices that's just over $3,000. My, Wait. Uh, to talk about how much it makes me and if I think it's worth okay. it. Okay. As of right now, I've made 0.73 Ethereum. At today's prices, that's just over $3,000. My first rig has been- So he's down. He's down horrendously, actually. He bought six plus three cards, about $1,000 a face. Bro, he spent like $10,000 and he is down horrendously. Been running for about three and a half months and my second for just over two months the first of each month i get paid out and since both rigs have been up and running those payouts have been about 0.25 ethereum each month what is this monitor bro oh my god oh my god at today's prices that's about a thousand bucks a month so if you consider my all-in cost at ten thousand four hundred fifty bucks that would be about a ten and a half month payoff but because these rigs take up a significant amount of power, I'm not sure my room could power both of them. So I do put the smaller one in my roommate's room and I do pay him a small percentage of what that brings in every month. Why, bitch? Why are you paying him anything? 
You're not paying for electricity. The only other cost along with mining besides buying the equipment is the cost of electricity. Luckily for me, me and all the other tenants where I live pay a fixed rate for utilities. So I would be paying that whether I mine here or not. So I don't choose to include that I in the know. cost of mining. But I would say if I was somewhere else, it would run me about 80 to 100 bucks a month. So that's how much it costs me. That's how much I make each month. Now I want to talk about the pros and the cons of mining cryptocurrency. My favorite pro is it is seriously. I've never heard of anyone paying utilities in a dorm. 99% past. My man's going to be like, dad, I got to do another year at college because he's trying to crypto mine, right? He's trying to crypto mine for like, he's trying to go positive. He's been in college for like five years at this point. He's like, dad, I think I got to do another year. Still trying to go positive on his fucking mining rigs. Lived in the dorms the whole time. If a rig shuts so down, Wilder, which yeah. might happen once every other week, then it takes me about three minutes to get it back up and running again. About a month ago, I ran the numbers, and if my miner was an employee working a 40-hour work week, it'd be making over minimum wage here in the city of Utah. Now, since then, the price of Ethereum has dropped, so it's probably a little bit less than that now, but I basically have a worker working for me full time without me having to do anything. If you need to put a disclaimer, bro, I don't know about this one, okay? Oh yeah, but maybe slavery isn't profitable. Ask that weirdo libertarian that I talked to. Another <laughs> the happy music where he's like, I don't support slavery. The pro, in my eyes, is it's a hedge against cryptocurrency. So, for example, if something crazy happened and the price of Ethereum went to zero, I still have the hardware that I could sell and recoup a lot most of my costs. Yeah, this motherfucker, you know, is the type of person who goes, never mind on. Sell his GPUs and go, light use. Never mind. Compared to if I went and put $10,000 into cryptocurrency and went to zero, I'd have nothing. Now, a couple of the cons. So, first off, these are computers and they're running really fast, so they do get a little, get a little hot. Which right now I don't mind because it's winter here in Utah. It's, free it's like a natural, it's a heater for the house, so I really like that. So I guess you could technically consider that a pro, but during the summer, I'm. I'm sure it will get pretty hot, so I'm not sure what I'll do about that yet. The only other con that I can think of is it is a little bit noisy. And it's nothing crazy, it's just like a fan's running. It's like some white noise, and I'll actually throw up a clip of what that sounds like now. So this is how loud the mining rig is. Bro, dust that It doesn't shit. bother me at all while I sleep. I did decide to turn it off while I was vid for video, just because it could affect the sound of me talking and stuff like that. So for me, the pros massively outweigh the cons. But would I recommend you to get into it right now? And to be honest, no. Another one. I, I wouldn't. If this was a year ago, I would absolutely say yes, get into it, it's awesome. But with Ethereum making the transition to proof of work, which is mining, to proof of stake, which is basically means you can't mine it anymore, there's just no telling on how much longer you have. He knows he's gonna be fucked. Okay, anyways, I just wanna see if anybody would do it, okay?